Hello and welcome to Kansas in C Open. We have ourselves some OSR set up, ready to go here. Uh, just as always, the free OSR setup. It's uh, not really competing with the the fastest guys, I don't think, but I never really exactly expect it to. And uh, these aren't my favorite races so much, to be honest with you. Here in the trucks. Adjust my volume. Um, it's pretty much flat out. I think during the race you're going to want to be nicer to the tires, but for qualifying it's flat out. And these types of races usually end up being pretty messy. And if I would have, if I were not the number four car, I might have decided to start in the back, but uh, my choices are either middle of the pack or try to get as far forward as I can, so that's uh, what I've been given here. <laughs> I guess I'll try to get near the front, and we'll see what we can do. This first lap is throwaway because you're not up to speed yet, so I'm just not going to kill my tires. And uh, the tape is at 90 right here. I think. Oh, don't get loose. Um, the tape is at 90 here. I think 100%. It's kind of risky. It gets wow. close to popping real quick, so. Uh, just going to have 90. Should get us there. P6. Try to be smooth. That's all you can really do if, uh, you know, you're given a low-powered truck to drive and told to just uh, put the foot down. So there we go. See the indicator down here started flashing just right at the end there. So that's why I went with 90% tape. Just don't want to risk it blowing up on my one lap that counts for anything and getting horrible starting spot but we'll try if, if, it, if the truck will let us we'll try to do a pit practice here a little bit tricky here at Kansas because it cuts in pretty sharply but I think I got it pretty well um, that could be a little faster but I was kind of I'm kind of judging my pit entry point based on the fact that I'm going to have more worn tires later, so that's uh, that's something I'm going to have to be watching out for, and hopefully I can get done right. Uh, especially because last time I ran into somebody and they got mad at me for the rest of the race, and that particular person just happens to be in this race also. So let's not make that mistake again. Um, like I said, not very fast. That was easily my fastest lap. I think maybe the track temps are, uh, helping the laps be a little quicker right now, but not, not the fastest. And I don't really know what else I can do when I'm putting my foot all the way down, all the way around the track. So it is what it is. We'll be, uh, in the draft probably, and we'll be dodging some wrecks, I imagine. When you get these flat out tracks, then you start getting the field all shuffled to. Like you got like the 27 up there, starting third. And then the ones down here at ninth. People are going to be all over the place of all skill levels. I'm just going to try to watch out. It looks like uh, no matter what, I was going to start in the middle. See if I don't qualify, then right now I'm starting here. And, uh, I don't know, maybe that would have been better. I really don't know. But I did fix my tape back to 66. That's where OSR had it before I changed it for qualifying. I'm going to be nicer to the tires as this thing goes on. Do a little bit of, a uh, lifting. Oh, I was wondering, it was a nice lap, and I'm like, it's not the fastest lap, though, and he was being sarcastic, because I guess this guy's probably just, uh, Trying to start ahead of the guys that don't uh, don't qualify. That already got like loose or something. Um, so twelfth as of right now. Seventeen more seconds to lose another spot or two. I'm not expecting too much 
from this one. But we'll see. Uh, I didn't have too much speed when we were at Las Vegas. Very similar style of racing to this. And a two-tire gamble got me a very nice finish. Uh, I, th I think it was fourth in that race. And that was a very high strength of field. Much higher than I normally do. Ended up being one of my highest uh, championship point hauls that I ever got from finishing fourth. And it was like... I want to say high 3,000s strength of field, maybe even in the 4,000s. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I remember it was pretty high for what I normally see, so... Friday, I'll check. We will have session last lap up, so we can just focus on being consistent, hopefully. Three sets of tires should be plenty the for 80 laps. Checked. But if we get a bunch of cautions, we'll have to think about when we want to use them. Uh... Hopefully you get no cautions, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. Like I said, these races get, get pretty messy. It's uh, Everyone's racing real close to one another. Usually there's not very much room given. You get the draft guy bringing guys up to three, four wide. And then guys start getting tight, so they drift up into people. Then you got slide jobs happening. It's just all the different... Ingredients to make one big messy sandwich. So, <laughs> hopefully, it's not too bad. We'll see. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't be the number four. I was hoping I would be a higher number because there was a fair number of people signed up, despite the fact it is just about midnight right now. Because I assume it's, you know, it's a Friday, so maybe lots of people are able to do some racing right now, even though it's a little bit later as we're heading into the weekend. Happy weekend <laughs> to everyone, uh, assuming you're watching as this uh, goes up, and assuming that I can actually get this video up in any sort of, sort of timely manner. Sometimes the internet speeds are, or the upload speeds specifically are pretty slow. So, <laughs> haven't been able to race too much this week, just kind of uh, had lots of stuff going on. Work keeping me busy and all that. But I think I should be able to do some some racing next day or two, which I'm looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to doing uh, Xfinity be open here at Kansas. Because uh, Nick said, I didn't get to watch the video yet, like I said, been pretty busy. But um, apparently the setup's pretty good. I remember he said, on, he said on Twitter that it was pretty good, so... Uh, looking forward to giving that a try. I always like the Xfinity car a little bit more, too. It's uh, probably just behind the uh, ARCA car is my favorite on the service. And in terms of mobile. So. Good stuff. But we'll get started here in this truck race for now. Hopefully we don't get five wide right away. See what kind of people are in this race, I suppose. It's going, but people in front of me are not. Dean chose not to go, I guess. That's curious. That wasn't too great getting stuck behind him, but obviously we're not in a huge hurry or anything <laughs> by any means. I don't want to be side by side for too long. But... Okay, good. Looks like he uh, lifted off. Maybe we're gonna. I'm gonna try to focus on being slower mid corner. Got a guy coming up right inches away from my rear bumper for no reason getting me loose. I don't know why he feels the need to be so aggressive right now, but alright, go on ahead. Don't be in a hurry. Trying to save tires, if you've ever heard of it. Keep looking left. About to get run over again. <laughs> I 
don't know, maybe I'm crazy for wanting to not burn my tires off immediately. There's something I don't know. Maybe these tires are made of unobtainium and they're never gonna wear. But I am operating under the assumption right now that they will, so pardon me guys. Let's try not to be flat footing it through mid corner. I think that might be where a lot of tire savings is going to come in. Sometimes in these races that high line can come in as the tires wear. Not sure what the race is going to evolve to look like yet. We'll see. Keep it low. We get it rotating down there by that white line. Driving away a little bit. I'm hoping they don't get too far that even if we get a little bit, bit of a tire advantage, they don't drive away because they're in the draft. We'll see what happens, I suppose. Like I mentioned, I definitely don't expect this to go green the whole way. Guys coming on the outside. Still there. Clear outside if you want to. Car outside. Go low. Still there. Outside is clear. Got crew chief. In case uh, we need to make some decisions. Yeah, I hope track position doesn't matter too much because guys are just flying by me. Ugh. It's like clock in the 15. Cutting it kind of close down there. Let's go. I was flying on the inside. I just want to take my corner normally. I was like just flying through. If I learn that uh, air saving is not a thing, then, uh, well, that's totally fine. I've uh, improved for next time if I come across that information. For now, I'm going to stick to it, stick to what I'm doing, so that way at least I know for sure, because if I kind of halfway do it, then I'll be like, oh, but what if I had committed to it, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to at least stick to my plan. I don't feel like it's going to be too tough to pass. I think, uh, I think it should be, maybe like the higher line should be enough to get it done if needed, or, you know. Dive down lower if guys are moving up the track later. Car, Isn't quite there yet, but he decided he was. Guys are just running me over. There you go then. Stay high to the car on the low side. Clear inside twenty first. Our lap time was thirty two point zero. Be interested to see if I start reeling these guys in before too long. I hope it stays green, or else I lost all these positions for no reason. That guy in the wall, is he gonna bring out a caution? That guy was just messing around in practice. He probably should have been actually practicing. It's like he was swerving around and told everybody that, oh, I just wanted to see how loose I could make the track and he was like sliding around on purpose on the racing line while I was kind of trying to practice my key laps. So, I mean, not a huge deal. I just went and got into a new group, but that annoys me a little bit. But forget that. I'll just uh, focus on my own race. 
I'm getting, giving each other very little room over there. Looked like that guy almost got into the back of him. Another guy hitting uh, through the apron there. Truck's feeling a little bit tighter. I imagine the other guys must be feeling it too. Through that uh, switch over. Might be on its way. All of a sudden we'll be starting to climb back up through. Wrecking each other. So much for that. Alright, we'll go get tires. And, uh... Well, that stinks. So much for saving tires. I should have known. I guess, uh... Go a little harder next this next run. I kind of wish this truck were a little looser um, for the OSR set. I feel like I could handle it a little bit. Uh, I could handle a little bit looser of a truck, still be okay. Probably help out long run, but uh, that's what I get for not knowing how to make my own setups and <laughs> make it looser and stuff. I'm sure one day I'll look into all that and do all that learning, but for now, that was our works for me. So we lose seven spots in total through that first run. Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. This guy's we'll slow on the inside again. for some reason. Don't want to end up in an awkward spot where we're side by side. Five, three, two, one, right here. Okay. 98, 98. It's too early to do anything like <sighs> two tires. However, that is not very worn at all, is it? So that makes sense. Ooh, I spun the tires. Yikes. Not ideal. Didn't think I revved it up that much, but we're still out in the same spot, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Not very much wear at all. I mean, I was going easy, but 95, 95 after, what was it, 11 laps or something like that? More than that? Probably can use them up a little bit more. So, duly noted, I will go a little harder this run. Probably focus on staying in the draft a little bit more. But, uh, still take it easy a little bit, not, uh, not kill him. So those, uh, guys that were in the wreck, at least the one that went into the outside wall at 8 billion miles an hour, they're probably not coming back out if I had to guess, so. At least we don't have to worry about finishing last, most likely. Interesting. Still not even close on uh, fuel. Gonna have to come back in for fuel as well. I like that. I like the potential for some green flag pit stops still. I'm all about it. Will the aggression factor go up even more now that... There's some time elapsed in this race. Seems like that's always how it works. As the race goes on, the uh, aggression goes up. About to go green. Stay focused. Pace car is off. Off the start. I don't know what's going on. Kind of like half went. There. I keep a 
Close eye ahead of us. These guys get loose and cause a big wreck. There's a guy wrecking right there. They're wrecking some more. And some more. Low car up high. Caution. God, they're right all wrecking. Pit road is closed right now. Left us <sighs> right. <laughs> Just remained calm and down. went ahead and did the uh, tri-oval chicane. There's a couple more people we're not going to finish behind. I hope. <laughs> Let me not call that race just yet. We gotta wait for the seven. Might have damage. They kind of just kept wrecking. It looked like multiple wrecks happened at the same time. They were kind of like different parts of the pack. It's like they were running into each other. But, uh, hit my brakes. <laughs> and, uh, kind of kept an eye all around me and we made it through. This is why I kind of wanted to start in the back because I had a feeling we might get some of this. Does that say 10th right now? How about that? We're gonna come in and get some fuel. Once we go around the track here. No tires though, we just we just put them on. Pit road's open. It's are open. 7.2 gallons. 7.2 gallons. You know what? I might just stay out. We're not going to be able to make it to the end here. Maybe track position will be nice. Like, what good is that going to do me? An extra gallon weight when we have to save seven. I'm not so sure about that. I think I'm just going to stay out. That guy's going in. I think he had some damage. Looks like everybody's staying out up here as well. We're further up front. Do I really want to be here, though? I also don't want to get stuck behind slow people. That's the problem. So I just have to watch out for aggressive people. Yeah, so this thing holds, what, 18.7. So we would be able to add about a gallon and a half. Seven gallons. That would put us down to five and a half gallons. That's still so much to save. I don't think that, that would be possible. Not here, I don't think, so. Could be wrong. There could be guys that could do it, but it would be pretty darn slow. And I don't know if we're going to the green to the end anyway. I'm okay with this decision staying out here. You know, the thing that worries me most is guys plowing me over. Because even though I'm not going to save it, tires as uh, as much as I did the first run, the guys are, you know how they are, very impatient. Pit road is closed right now. Pits are closed. 6.8 gallons. 6.8 now. Maybe we'll try it if we get another caution before too long. That'd be kind of close, though. I guess I could maybe put it in neutral. Headed through the corners. Maybe we'd be able to make it. Just seems like I'll have to save at a track where you're mostly flat out. It's like trying to save fuel at Daytona or something. <laughs> seems kind of questionable. At uh, how effective that would be. So we will be on the inside as the number nine. I'm hoping if they if they're gonna wreck, it happens behind us. The majority of the field is behind us at this point, so you'd think the odds would be in our favor, but it's not quite that simple. Guys, maybe being more aggressive at the front of the field, increasing your chance for wrecks. Or on the contrary, maybe the back would be more likely because guys that are in the back might be there for a reason. 
So, not quite as simple as that, but that's exactly it. You don't know. If we knew exactly how the race was going to go, it wouldn't be very interesting to watch, now would it? Wouldn't be all too interesting to race either. But thankfully we're one to green. I'm itching to go. I want to do some green flag laps, but we'll see if everyone else feels like it, <laughs> I guess. See if we can continue to uh, survive this one in ways that others have sadly not. We've got the uh, neon green wreck machine up in the front spot here we're going to be keeping an eye on. They were last uh, restart too. That's just what I call those default schemes from guys that I, I guess assume didn't change their paint scheme whenever the Toyota updated or something. But <laughs> had a really interesting, I think it was Richmond race. With a bunch of those guys are wrecking, so that's uh that's something. Anyway, here we go. I'm in the top ten. Clear. Alright. I'm gonna keep my foot in it a little bit more, see where it takes me. It just seems like these guys have some more speed than I do. It really does. Oh no. Imagine hitting the brakes. Imagine it. I don't know if we got uh, damage from that, but we sure got a 4x, so... Arigato to you, friend. I think it was the 27. It's always the most sad to me that these races end up so messy, because they're really truly some of the easiest races to do as well. It's like super speedways. I just, I don't understand how guys wreck all the time. I just, I don't. And maybe that makes me sound arrogant or something, but I mean, you're barely even lifting off the gas. It's a wide track. It's not like you're at a short track where, you know, everything's even closer together and you gotta hit the braking marker just right. And I don't know. I just don't understand why these are always so messy. It never fails either. It's unfortunate. Seven point two gallons. Seven, that went back to seven point two, huh? I still don't think we're gonna make it on fuel. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hop in just to see if there's uh, any damage. I'll fill I'll fill it up, and uh, we'll see. I think he just barely tapped me, so I don't know if there's gonna be any damage. And if it is, it's maybe like one second. I hope it's not any worse than that. But. Think we'll need to stop again. Pit box team, pin. Imagine breaking when someone's sideways in the Five, track in front of you. Three, two, in a series that has cautions. Right here. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Wee! Guy was blocking my stall. <laughs> I couldn't see. Uh, 12 seconds. So we'll fill it up with fuel. It didn't matter anyway. We were going to fix the damage. Keep this engine on. Move it, move it. And we'll head back out. So maybe we'll consider the fuel strategy. Got the damage fixed. I'm really hoping it doesn't affect us. Sometimes the lightest taps can do the stupidest things to the car. I'm hoping that's not the case. Heck, maybe it'll make it looser like I wanted. That'd be cool. <laughs> 4.2 gallons. Interesting. 4.3. So, it's not fully calibrated because of all these... 
percussion laps. I think I'll come in with two to green here. Come back in and get some more fuel. So it doesn't matter saving fuel right now. We'll see if we can make it. That could make it this interesting. I don't know why you'd sit in the middle of the track if you're letting people buy you, but alrighty. Continue to have guys that are getting worse damage than us. Ending up in racks. Wish the field would bunch up so I don't have to hurry as, as quickly to get back to the field, but... I mean, what do they care? They're just busy punting the cone. It's not too bad anyway. We're, we're pretty well bunched up enough. I'm just whiny. <laughs> Are open. So we'll, we'll duck in here, make sure these tires are off, which they are, top off on fuel, and hey, maybe we'll make it to the end of this thing. That'd be cool. Watch your speed. Okay. We'll need to stop again. Pitbox team, in. I did not miss the stall this time. Five. Three, two, uh, like one. that guy. Maybe he made it. <laughs> it looked like he was about to mess it. All clear. Punch it. Looks like he got there. I hope he knows to speed up. Because we gotta get caught up now. We're fine. We're still just on the back stretch here. Fuel saving, always fun. I mean that genuinely. I love a good uh, fuel strategy race. 3.3 gallons. 3.3 gallons to save. Going green. But probably plenty of cautions to go, so. Ice car is off. Be ready. They're off. Green flag, green flag. That guy's way off pace. I don't know if he just had a horrible start or what, but. Car inside. 18. Still there. Hold your line. I'm up here. Still there. Clear inside, inside. Side by side. Alright. Ah, it slows you down so much. I don't know if I can do that right now. Maybe once the tires wear off a little bit. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it, but I wanted to kind of wanted to see, see if it was gonna be a viable option or not. Truck seems to be okay, despite the little bit of rear end damage. We probably don't look too dissimilar from that one where we just got some scuffs on the back. Well, uh, keep an eye up ahead in case guys start getting weird again. Sure look like they're getting weird. I think I see three wide up there potentially. Maybe it's just two. But I saw a guy entering really low into the corner. And that's always a warning sign. That'll throw up the red flag. Both in terms of a warning sign and well, we don't have red flags in eye racing, but I think you know what I mean. Is this one down on power? Seems like he was really uh, off pace at the end of the straightaway there. Maybe he saved fuel too. Keep high. Mm, go. Clear inside. Three point three gallons. Yeah, we're hanging even at about three point three. 
don't know about this uh, fuel saving thing. Two. Maybe it's possible. I think being in draft should help. This could get really interesting, though, depending on how this fuel burns off. Seems like a lot to save. Um, I'm still thinking about it though, because we've got over half the race left, so that's a lot of time to save those couple of gallons. Yeah, still can't quite use the clutch like that. Point one. Keep checking in on that. Someone in the wall or something happened up here. <laughs> They're gonna split him. That was interesting. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Keep low. This guy's gonna fight me for the all precious 18th. Still there, hold your line. You're on the bottom, three wide. Did not just hear three wide. Are you kidding me? That's my favorite. Now look at us. We have all lost momentum. Because we took it three wide. Couldn't just back out. Nope. Gotta take it three wide. Two point eight. We might be okay. And I see smoke. Outside. Still there. Clear outside. I think one's saving. Three point one gallons. Ooh, back to three. Interesting. I like it though, I hope it goes green. 13's killing his tires, sliding up the track like that. It's fast for now, and I know the tire wear's not awful, but... What about doing all that? Two point seven. 2.7. Halfway. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, Colton. Half distance. Yes, to eight. Thirty-four. Lumps of fuel remaining. Three gallons. Three gallons. That's just it. Loses so much time. Maybe I. Um, I don't know. At least uh, going a little easier is going to be leave us feeling pretty good in the long run. That's a nice little bonus as well. Got the car up here, top. A little pushy right now. I think 13 would agree. He almost took the wall down. Car outside. Outside is clear. <laughs> P7, 
I racing calculators gives up is uh, giving us about 34 laps it looks like let's see what it says when we get to the line Thirty four, so I racing saying we're gonna run out just a bit before We're gonna be like three laps short. Hmm It's a lot to save. Two point nine gallons. The next car is carpenter. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Very, very interesting. Seems like guys are getting spread out too, so we might actually get green. Ha! Ah! That's what I get for hoping. There goes any... that interest, so... We'll get another... Two sets of tires left, huh? We'll get another set of tires because we have to get some track position back, I think. Okay, Colton, your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Try right sides. And we'll try to get some track position back that way. We'll be good on fuel now, though. I really wish they would catch up to the field. I'll check my tires too, and if they're much worse than I'm expecting them to be on the left side, well, I might reconsider. But watch your speed limit in the pits. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. Let's see. Pit box team ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. The best entry, but we did it. Ninety eight, ninety seven. I can live with that. Okay, go. Just a heads up, you know that you so maybe get a couple right more spots here of track position. File. I think having it looser might actually be a good thing. As long as I don't make an embarrassing mistake and loop it or something. But 98, 97 certainly not bad on the left sides. So, we'll see, won't we? You got loads of fuel. Loads of fuel, okay. So definitely good on fuel now. No. You've got a speeder. You done got caught. <laughs> so I got another position. So we started uh, 17th after that last run, and now we'll, we will be restarting where? Ninth. Okay. I like it. That's a good eight spots of track position, and I don't think we're going to be much, if at all, slower. Like I said, we'll see. We will definitely see. Colton, you on too. Yes, I am. Da, da, da. Not refused. Same thing. When I did it at Vegas, didn't really lo lose much speed at all. The proudest one. Yeah. In fact, I was actually moving away from some guys. Whenever I did that, took two at Vegas, so. I think it could be an underrated strat if you know when to employ it. We'll see if this is 
one of those times when to employ it. Who knows? Left off 23, carbine. One left to green. You'll be lining up on the game. Mm, tire spin to speak of. We're good. There. Nice and smooth. Nervous, but excited. Let's see how this uh, that plan works out for us. We took it easy that run, saving fuel, and uh, by accident, saving tires too. Let's see if we can turn that into a, some, a slight advantage in terms of uh, being able to get a chunk of track position back. Go green, stay focused. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. Kind of weird start there. Kind of like slow rolling. <laughs> People behind us didn't get much of a start. That guy's loose in front of us. That's not my favorite thing to see, ever. They're going multiple wide. Ugh, that got close. Oh, it feels looser. I love it. I'm all about the two tire strats, man. Obviously, if I knew anything about making setups, I could probably just adjust something that makes the car looser and not have to rely on differently worn tires to get it done, but I'm working with what I got here. And what I got is a lack of knowledge. <laughs> that wasn't clear. Yeah, two tires seems to be doing fine. We weren't all that fast to begin with compared to some of these uh, other guys, so. Very happy with this. That chunk of track position, I think, will be very valuable to us. It genuinely, I do think having it a little looser is going to help. Get it on the right rear a little bit more. So keeping in the draft here. I'll make a bigger focus on doing that this time around. I'm sure I'm keeping up. A little bit swervy in front of us. Can I get a kill? Yeah! They are weirdly close. Oh wow, that guy's got a lot of damage. He's keeping up pretty darn well for all that damage he has. Well, uh, left side of his truck's pancaked, it looks like. We got a little bit of hood damage. I wonder if he's only keeping up because he's in the draft. Interesting. Not my water temperature. Guess I'll keep an eye on it. Crew Chief always is too sensitive with all that anyway. Question mark, question mark. This guy that asked about my tires. He's full of questions, I guess. 
going to be curious. Genuinely, it's good to know what other competitors are doing. There's someone that uh, should have listened to the crew chief. <laughs> His water temperature is getting high. That's more likely from damage, though. He probably got uh, front end damage at some point and uh, came back to bite him. Saying both water and oil. Can't really see my gauges because of where I sit. I can see the one gauge there, the water, I believe it is, but if the oil is also potentially a problem, I think I might do a little bit of this so that way I can see that. I don't normally have this up, but that might be important information. And it's not really too distracting, so I'll just put it there. But hey, we are in the top ten. Feeling good? Let's go green to the end, guys. How's that sound? That sounds great to me. I would love that. But you know, it's probably ended up <laughs> going to end up green, white, checkered, some way or another. As it always does. Seven's running up on us. He gained uh, on us real quick. I'll hit him by if, uh, well, when he gets here. I'll just keep it low. Use this opportunity to keep that corner speed lower so that way we can let him by and uh, even save a little bit extra that corner. I'll turn it into a positive. We're hanging in there. I just, I can feel we don't have quite the speed. Some of the guys ahead, but... Could be much worse. Did a little high and a little hard that time. Lap truck taking up two lanes. Clear inside. Including the one I wanted, but that's fine. Guys running the wall up there, that's curious. And they're in fact running the wall just about as close as you possibly can, down to the atomic level. Rushing up against it. So if they want to keep doing that. Did you be low or be my guest. It's starting to get tighter. We might be needing to uh, run the higher line now. I say with a grin, loving that higher line. Of course, guys are going to start getting tired or too. Not a caution because he's technically on the apron, even though he's real close. I didn't see if that was a spot or not. I think it was. I think I'll start entering uh, middle now. Seems like where I might want to be at this point. I love it. I love when the track evolves. You don't get to see that quite enough, as far as I'm concerned. I still find myself wishing this truck were a little looser, though. It's like the middle line was faster than taking the lower line that time. Okay. 
Stop it. He's on the move. Slaying up the track. He did a slide job and he absolutely did not need to do it. <laughs> Looks like he was prepared to do a slide job on I mean, it. I just let him have it. They are racing real close up there. See a couple guys getting real close to touching. It's getting real close to getting into the wall. It's getting into the wall, almost straight away. Hey, maybe we want this high line now. That's pretty good. Did not get much practice with this particular feeling though. I'm a little nervous of giving it a try. I don't know how well it's going to work, but... Alrighty. Hey, they're all over the place right now. Sliding. This is gonna get bad, isn't it? I'm gonna end up with nowhere to go while this guy self spins. Ah! Oh my god, outside. Wait, had to make some moves there. Be a little bit aggressive. I gotta get try to get past this group real quick. I think. Because of that, I had a feeling that there was a storm brewing. Four tires. Here it goes. Come on, twelve. We gotta put tires on this thing. Come on, 12. We gotta put tires on this thing. Are you damaged or something? Yeah, can we please catch up? Come on, Adrian. Come on, 12. Leader, well, we just got fucked. Cool. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Look out for the pits. I have no idea if I am where I'm supposed to be. Pit box team, ten. Five. <sighs> Could have been worse. I don't Two. see black flag, so. One. I guess we're okay. Idea. These are our tires to the end. Where we're uh, where we're at now, on track. Let's uh, I just uh, hopefully we'll make it to the end. We've done well so far. Are 
might not have been the 12 it might have been like he was waiting on someone else and it just told me I was waiting on the 12 I don't know exactly how that went down but point still stood <laughs> I needed to get going we're still ninth though I'm happy with that and uh, it's all green light from here I'm sorry come on which might not be good for us to be honest because seems like guys are just faster sorry Max <laughs> I wouldn't pay attention Half Very good, I'm just making sure. Yeah. There's a fair number of people on the lead lap here. I think we're doing okay. Top 10 would be fantastic if we can pull that off. Don't need the dash anymore. Though it is kind of interesting just to have, but. A little cleared off the screen anyway. I could have put... Well, I was going to say I was going to... I could have put more tape on it maybe, but that nah, seems pretty risky. I don't know about that. I wouldn't know how much to put on it anyway. I'd be afraid to put any more than like 3% more go. tape. I doubt that would make much of a difference anyway. Inside's gonna be the place to be, I think. But I don't know if that's gonna matter too much. I'm thinking we have a chance of seeing some self spinning. This guy's go flat foot on the cold tires. Or just uh, otherwise some wrecking from some close uh, side by side stuff going on. I hope this goes well. I feel like we played it. Pretty well so far. We just gotta hopefully finish it off. Hopefully, get ourselves a good start as well. About to go green, stay focused. Lean back or something. I don't know. Why you would do that. Both car is off. Time to do your job. I swear I saw someone moving. Ring, ring, ring. These starts have been pretty ugly. I have since I'm blocking there, I'm gonna let it go. Uh this is scary. Scary with a capital airy. Oh lordy, what is that? Car outside. Three, two. The next car's the leader. Still there. Clear. Five laps to go. He said, up up time was 22 point eight. Some guy almost self-spun for me, I had to tap the brakes. I probably got him loose being behind him, but sorry, man. <laughs> We're going now. Mm, tight, tight because the arrow push. That stunk. Had to lift off a little bit there, and I have to be ahead of it this time around. Let this go green at the end, man. I do not want green white checkers. No way, no how. Get that out of my life. No green white checkers. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my lord. We're tires. I gotta hope everyone else is in the same spot. How will Chris Becker get fucked out of his race? It hasn't been much of a good one, unfortunately. We're running pretty well for now, but ugh, too many cautions. Just exactly what I was expecting. It's messy. Thank Matt, Kevin, just trying to gain some more iron back up. I hope I don't get too close. Yeah, that most likely just fucked me out of the top ten.
Except tires, I guess. What are we doing? Jet stop 23. What are we doing here? <laughs> Just taking people out, I guess. I don't know. Looks like we'll have a green white checkered finish when this course. I don't know why I mimicked them. <laughs> How's this 27 up here, man? That thing. <laughs> I guess it's just side damage. It looks worse than it is. Lucky for him. I hate that we have three green white checkers. I hate that we have them at all. But <sighs> what you gonna do? Why is the lucky dog passing low? I mean, I guess it works. Man, it's hot in here. The AC went out here at home. It's been sweltering. <laughs> That's a little bit dramatic, maybe, but it's pretty darn hot. Especially when I'm in the middle of this race, feeling intense. On the outside this time. Should hopefully get a better view of the leader at least, but not sure if outside's gonna be preferred. Probably not. Max, you get a run. I'm doing pretty good where I'm at. I'll let you go. All I ask is that we survive. That's really all I ever wanted for Christmas. Unwrap that present and find. Solid top 10 with our 4x from someone rear-ending us. It's just fine with me. I feel like these caution laps are like one too long or something. Seems like we're out here forever. Wait. Take me to Arca where there's no cautions. What would happen that last time if uh, many people got caught up, or if it was just a small incident? I'm sure we'll find out later in the incidents. Oh, fell asleep. Let's go, man. One to go. Nick, go time by. Next time Line up on the outside. <laughs> Keep an eye on Cincinnati up there, I guess. Pinkish, purplish kind of car. Should be easy to see, at least. Got a YouTuber over there in the number three. Looks like they're advertising our channel on the side. Assume that's what that is. up, I guess. Oh, I hope this goes well. About to go green. Stay focused. Post car is off. Green flag, green flag. Two more, let's go. Just protecting the bottom, I have no choice. Inside. Stay high, six. We've got a green light. What are we doing? God, you got that awful. They want you in single file. Close, pit road is closed. Line up single file behind car number 23. Sorry, them team, I didn't see until last section. It's closed. Now we gotta wait again. I'm gonna put your ass out. Another one. You lucky viewers get to skip the yellows if you want. 
Always got the chapters on here if you don't know. Bumble car is back here. I guess at least the uh, tires are all going to cool off a little bit more. I was a little bit worried that going harder the uh, previous run before the green white checkered started was going to leave my tires a little bit at a disadvantage of some of the guys behind us, but I think having uh, the tires cool down even One more now, will help down even down that down. out a little bit more. We just gotta make it, man. We just gotta do our green white checker. Get this over with. Please, no more. I'm just, I just wanna survive and get my anxiety up. Worrying about it. Just give me this top 10. Get me the heck out of Kansas. I want to say I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Oh man, I'm sorry. That's not true. I want to do the Xfinity race. <laughs> Kansas isn't so bad either. Like, I haven't really talked about it, but I, uh, Kansas is okay. It's not my best Car. mile and a half. In fact, it's probably one of my lesser favorites in terms of mile and a halves, but it's still a mile and a half, and I like it for that reason alone. Taking it, taking it. I've also made some dumb mistakes in the past at. Kansas. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Let us know. Cowboy, you had the position when the yellow flag came Come out. Come on, Casey. Only nine more delayed greens. You've got this. I'm thirsty. I get a drink of sweet tea. My favorite beverage. You had way for a in here. Yellow. It's I mean, Gavin's got his uh, sick and tired of hitting the brake Dr. Pepper, the Diet Dr. Pepper, or whatever. I've got uh, sweet tea, I guess. We could play that game. <laughs> That's my thing. thing you. I don't actually drink soda, oddly enough. Never so really liked the carbonation. I don't really have a good explanation for it. I just don't enjoy it. I don't want pop rocks in my mouth when I'm taking a drink or something. I don't know. Hard to explain beyond that. <laughs> I just never liked it. No real incentive to try to like it either, because all you ever hear is how bad it is for you, but I'm sure sweet tea's not much better. I'm sure it's got plenty of sugar in it, too. Bad You're almost in top 10 and, uh, I mean, I, I know it has plenty of sugar in it, too. <laughs> Acting like it's a mystery. No. Plus, it's literally called sweet tea now. So, every two seconds the purpose for that. Kind of annoying. If you want to get right on that bumper, you want to jam the brake and do the thing. <laughs> Dang. I guess Hopefully you we get this thing over with before the sun goes down. A good time. I hope you are too. It is 4.30 in Sam here. <laughs> in Kansas. Now they'll end this race before we get that far. Only get the three green white checkers before they say get off the track. You guys stink. been uh, kind of near the Kansas area over there, I, uh, around Kansas City, both on the Missouri and the Kansas side of Kansas City. Took a trip to Kansas City once. That was pretty fun. One left to green. Line up on the outside. Right, Carlton, get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. One of the closer tracks to my location here in the Great Plains region, the Midwest. Iris and calls it the Great Plains region, though. So we'll try this again, I guess. Can we survive? One corner, two corner, three corner, maybe more. Sure would be nice. Uh, Alright, we're gonna get going here after eons of waiting. The pace car is in. Green, 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 green. Okay. You're in the car, 
Pretty good start there. We're not getting much room. Let's cut down. Not taking it three wide. Not my style. Don't have to enter badly. This guy's getting loose in front of me. That guy gave me a tap. About killed me. Got a little bit of the apron, but we're okay. I think that guy might get a run, though. You win. Oh, I think I held him off. Keep P6. Okay, it's over. Good try. P6. All right. Looks like that guy did just barely edge me out for a top five. But hey, I am absolutely okay with that. I guess I would much rather that guy give me a bump draft rather than try to go on the apron or something to try to get below me. So that's just how these uh, green-white checkers work. If the worst you get is a, a bump draft, I think that turned out pretty darn well. Uh, that was intense. I am glad we finished it out. Pretty exciting. So we go from 12th to 6th with our free setup. Tires were all good. Still pretty fresh from when we last got them. Go in, Greg. Sure, whatever. I don't know what changes it's talking about. I about dookied my pants. Go to boys' top eight or so. I agree. Yeah, that was good racing at the end there. Great racing up front at the end there for sure. Uh, good win to the number two. That was fun. What was your train of thought there, Cody? Cody. He's not talking about me. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Alright, so, incidents. What? I said, what was your train of thought there? Are they going to start fighting? Is this the start of an argument? It always starts pretty innocent. No. What's happening out here? Twelve. Oh, I missed it. Sorry, I was adjusting the volume. Did you get in the bag of them? Or you get loose first? Got loose first, looks like. When these uh, trucks get right on your rear end like that, it'll really loosen it up. You kind of have to be anticipating it. And uh, kind of lighten your steering a little bit if you, could th if you think about it. It's so easy to not think about as you're thinking about so many other things, but if you got someone right on your rear end here, it will break loose on you in a lot of tracks. Yeah, it's the apron. I was doing 270, I was trying to break the 160, and you still were slowing down. I was on the brake fully. I couldn't slow down anymore, man. A little wall. Guy's got a little bit more wall. 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 A little bit more wall than I expected already. I feel like at this point in the race, the truck shouldn't be all too tight yet. Maybe everyone's got different setups though, so maybe they have a tighter setup. Maybe the, I mean, heck, maybe the uh, default setup for iRacing is pretty tight or something. Gotta get them loose. They sure did. And they overcorrect, and they both pay for it. And then I go, do do do. See you. Remember, that was a little bit scary, so we were uh, not too far behind it, so just another case. A guy gets up behind him, gets him loose, and he overcorrects and bounces off, and I just kind of have to uh, hit my brakes just enough. They want to slam on my brakes, because then I lock up the tires and head straight into it, probably, so I see this happening. I get on the brakes a fair amount, about halfway, not locking them up, but slowing down pretty good, and then I found my way around the outside where they weren't anymore. And that's how I avoided that one. <laughs> uh, 
What you doing there? This guy already has a blown engine. What are you doing? You're basically out of the race already, so what are you doing? Oh, he's intentionally hitting the nine because reasons. What? Are you kidding me? You got loose. Just the guy that was like, what were you thinking there? Because I'm thinking that you got him loose from running behind him. You kind of have to expect that might happen if we're going to run that close. That's what happens in these trucks. And then you didn't lift off for him. But, I mean, it's still kind of on the 17 for getting loose in the first place. I mean, 9 doesn't cut him any brakes. 17 can't handle it. I don't think there's any reason to be retaliating on people. That seems a little stupid. <laughs> so, he, with his broken engine, and maybe he gets back out there, I don't know, but... Oh, I think maybe he gets out there much later or something. So he comes into the pits. To be a big ugly butt. And now these guys are having to check up and they're potentially losing out on pit road because they won't be upset. So that's pretty childish. And I'll say it louder for those in the back. That was childish. If you happen to watch this, that was childish. So you're aware that was a jump to restart. <laughs> Is that my fault? I know I kind of thought they were going at one point a couple times, but that was a rough start for the 20. He was really convinced they were going when they weren't. 27 gets a little bit of wall on entry. Where did they end up finishing? They did fantastic. I said early in the early in the race when I saw that 27, I'm qualified up there you know it makes me a little worried just because you know um 27 being the 27 suggests that they have a lower i rating and typically that happens for a reason but they had a fantastic race i will absolutely give it to them i was wrong hit the wall on entry there but they pull off the podium great run that'll be a great i rating gain for them here's one that took out a fair number of people so this is the one that had like four different wrecks happening all at once. Let's try to see where it starts first. It looks like it might start in second place. Wow. So all the way up here in second place. Mr. Cool. I'm not like calling him. I'm not like... <laughs> Sounds like I'm insulting him. That's literally his last name, Mr. Cool. And so he gets loose and sideways. But it looks like people are getting around him. Just maybe some checking up going on as they're watching out for him. 18 drives up the track. I don't think he really needed to. He just drives up into the 6 trying to avoid him, I guess. And that gets him unsettled. And suddenly, this wrecks more than it has to be. Uh... Runs into the 5, runs into the 6, and then, uh-oh, we're heading towards some wall, aren't we? 22 has nowhere to go, it looks like. Bounces off into him. We just got a bad chain of events here. Oh, wow. That was close. I think 28 maybe even got a little bit there. They are flying into this wreck, though. They gotta be on the brakes more. They're just plowing in. Hit the brakes, man. That's bad. Series has cautions. So you know. You just took out several people because you didn't hit the brakes. Like, the one was probably going to avoid it, and then look what you did. That's pretty ugly. Man. Hate that for the number one. They still finished okay, top 10, but they probably could have come out and won this thing. What else is happening? It 
What's happening here? She gets loose on entry. They do a pretty solid job of keeping it down low and not making it worse. And they get to watch it all unfold. Pretty interesting wreck. Lots going on here. So what else is there to see? I think that's just about every angle we could look at that from. It's just uh, guys just kept barely getting into one another and guys were not slowing down quite enough. So guys just kept wrecking. Oh yeah, what's this guy? What happened to him? Oh, five comes down, track and gets him. He also was coming in pretty hot. Maybe just slow down a little bit more, maybe let things unfold. And uh, let's see how I made it through. I was pretty far back, so it wasn't too crazy hard for me to get around it. So we're all the way back here as this guy starting out. I mean, I guess we're uh, not all that bad, but we're slowing down. Make our way around that guy. Slow enough to maneuver as this guy moves back up a little bit. And once we're up here and we watch that guy bounce off, we're uh, we're in a good spot. So just uh, took it cautious. Thought us to be there at the end. Some guys sitting in the pits with their damage, blowing engines. Some uh, good trucks taken out in that one. Taki's in the wall or right above me. Don't think I ever even saw that. We got a neon green machine. 13 just dives in on him. From uh, about a car length back. I think maybe he didn't expect him to be taking that line though. Because it looked like he was going to follow the other neon green car on the higher lane. But then late, kind of late decision to cut down. And uh, neither were really willing to give up on it. That's kind of... I might even call that just a racing incident. Because... 13 was committed going to the bottom. The 8 kind of decided late to take the lower line, it seems, because it looked like initially they were going to take the higher line. Normally you're like pointed down here, um, like essentially where the 13 is. You know, he's heading into the corner. 8 kind of decides late to turn in, and so they were just going to the same spot. 13 maybe could have been a better defensive driver there and saw that he was coming down and instead of asserting himself maybe backed off but that's easier said than done and that's unfortunate 13 finishes off the eight too as they got sideways this is where we got hit in the butt and the behind too why isn't 27 gassing it up he's the guy that hit me was on my outside He sees them wrecking. You can hear him gassing it up. Right there. Why are you gassing it up? <laughs> I, okay. I mean, it didn't end up hurting me other than the 4X, I guess, but... I don't know why you would do that. Slow it down. Oh, maybe I should give myself a wider view. Was he about to get hit from behind himself? Well, not really. I mean, guys were coming in hot, but... Oh, well. Not much harm done. It's fine. Obviously, he was okay, too. He finished well, like I said. Still. Still praise for him for finishing well. He, he survived it. And this is what our damage ended up looking like. Almost non-existent. Just a tiny little dent, I think. It's just a little bit pushed in, maybe on the right side there. See the before and after right here? Yeah, just a tiny little dent. That's nothing. I bet it didn't even really do much at all. And this is before uh, we fixed it, too. So. Don't know why we're seeing me under caution there. A little bit of a wiggle on exit. Tap the wall. I noticed that. I almost did that once or twice. Almost uh, Xfinity car style, where it gets a little bit weird on, on the straightaway. Particularly on exit. So I, I know why you did that. I, I can understand that. Got some wall on entry. And they're just gonna take the slow train home around the outside. Captain Crunch sounds pretty good right now, to be honest. 
three takes a bite out of him now. I'm <laughs> pushing him into the wall. I'm drafting for some reason. I get it later in the race, but about only halfway. It's not really seem worth the risk putting the guy in the wall and damaging yourself or others. Not much there. 26 just straight up turns down on the 15 there. Guy that was uh, seeing how loose he could get the car in practice. Sorry, I don't mean to be piling in on him. <laughs> but he just... I don't know. I mean, I guess the 15 kind of... It's like the same thing as before, too, though. I mean, 15 just says, hey, I'm going to go down here. I mean, when you enter that high, it looks like you're gonna you're planning to take the middle line. That's what it looks like when you're doing that. And then you know they just it's a miscommunication. They end up in the same spot. That's pretty much everything I was saying about the other one about like you know maybe the 15 could be a little more defensive or something. And but you know 26 probably needs to be more uh, aware of where the guy is. All the same stuff applies because it's basically the same incident. Wall. Marked. That time, 11 gets into the 3 and from behind. Gets them all scraped up. This is pretty late in the race at this point, too. Lap 62. Oh. Six blows his engine. They had some serious damage. Oh, and he spins it. This is the guy we saw down here. That's pretty darn scary. And uh, he can't even really move, I don't think, because his engine's blown, so he can't roll off the track. So he's probably frantically holding the escape button. Huh. Thankfully, he didn't bring out a caution. I mean, it, we still got the caution eventually, but... And we're going to see what it was here soon. 22's getting into the wall, despite going 160. Although, he didn't really, though. It was that, I don't think that really was anything. Some more slow train around the outside. Getting intense here late in the race, lap 67. 12 is wiggly. And straight away. This is right away around where we are on track. 27 hits the wall pretty good. On entry there. Got away with it. It's getting loose. Oh, I remember seeing that guy so loose. See, that's the setup I want. I want what, I want what he's having. I want that loose setup. Let's see where that can bring me. Like, I don't want it to look like that, but I feel like maybe I keep that from getting so sideways. This was a very... <laughs> this is usually more aggressive than I typically like to be, but I felt like I had to do what I had to do here. This, this group was very clearly going to wreck at some point and they did so i'm seeing this guy getting loose and i'm like i can't wait around here i'm gonna be behind these guys when they wreck so he lost all his momentum i go down on the apron so i can get around him i wait until i hear those beautiful words clear and then i come back up top i set myself up here and uh got past made there and well, didn't get ourselves trapped i was worried we were gonna get trapped down here and have to take a bad entry into the corner but uh it was tense for a moment, but we were able to navigate it. Everyone's taking bites out of Cap'n Crunch. That was... he just turned him on the straightaway. That's what it looked like. I don't think it was intentional, but... Maybe... He slides up in front of him. I feel like the 18... You just give him some room, I guess. Like, that's way too close to cut it. Like, maybe he doesn't actually hit him there, but no reason to cut it that close, especially when Netcode's going to say, hey, you hit his left rear. Now this is happening. And that's why I wanted to get around it quick. A couple car lengths back, and maybe that guy's swerving up in front of me, and I might have nowhere to go. So I'm glad that I was able to move forward and get in front of where the wreck ended up being. This guy's slide back on track. Uh-oh. Yikes. Or 
we're okay though. That looks like a whole lot of nothing. Lap 76. What's a, what's a 7 doing? Okay, I remember this. This is where I thought, oh, maybe I got behind him and he got loose. But at this point in the race, it's go time. Like, you gotta... Oh, I wasn't even that close to him. I think he just straight up got normal loose. Like, maybe Arrow played a little part, but I'm not nearly as close to him as I thought I might have been. Like, the effects that cause that sort of thing, they get much worse if you're closer. And there it's, uh... Maybe he just had some weird air going on just from the location of everybody involved here. Like, the guy on his front left and then me behind him. Maybe got a weird vortex going on there and that got him loose or maybe he just got a loose setup. Who knows? Maybe it was all a little bit of everything. But, oh, that's scary. That's, that's, that's rough. He still got another caution later that helped him get back up a little bit. But lost a ton of ground there. And, uh, there's something that happened. It looked like the 17 got the apron. He's a lap car, too. It's the apron. He's so many laps down, and he's bringing out cautions. Well, maybe that wasn't a caution. Did something else bring a caution? It didn't look like it deserved a caution. Where are the lights on the track? Nah, uh, looks like that was it. Was that the end of the race, actually? That might have been the end of the race. I don't actually know. I think that might have been the end of the race. So. Oh, no, there wasn't any race. Ha <laughs> ha. I never remember how many laps we do. Oh, that was net code. That sucks. I can already tell that was net code. 12 got... Great run coming in through here. They're three wide. Mmm. Yeah, they weren't even... 15 turns down on him a little bit there for no reason. He should be a little higher if they're three wide. But they still didn't even touch. So that's... that's... Rotten. <laughs> Maybe they were gonna touch anyway, but that was a pretty bad net code. Ruins their races there. Hate that. Those net code improvements at work. I don't know what that is. Goofing around under yellow. Uh, I don't know why. What are you doing? Race is still going at this point. Trying to delay our green, I guess, as if the uh, caution laps aren't long enough. So, this is probably what that guy was talking about. What you doing? I mean, it looks like he got you loose, riding close behind you. I don't think he touched him. He's got him loose. Hits the apron. I mean, you gotta be able to control that as the 13. Especially, like, you can't really blame... 17 for racing close when it's lap 88 so you just that's kind of it stinks because it's hard to control for sure whenever you get the air taken off your rear spoiler like that but you got to be able to control it that's going to be on your on your hands if you get loose like that so what was 17 doing We're racing on lap 88 is what i would guess that's my take on it and 13 is the world's longest direct <laughs> spin out rather and that is the end of the race so the two gets the win well done to them cincinnati wins it in kansas and three's goofing up for his youtube channel maybe <laughs> and more guys goofing around 22 was goofing around before the race was even over so they're goofing and that's it so lots of incidents to see there we uh, gained six spots from our 12th place starting position to get sixth. Thankfully, kept the car mostly clean other than that dent on the rear end. Uh, we stayed out of any major incidents. We were able to avoid a couple of them, and uh, I, I could feel pretty happy about that finish.
Sixth, that's the four car. I will take that any day. So, that stinks. We're really close to that top five. Just two uh, thousandths of a second. I guess we could take a look at that. Yeah. Very, very close. But uh, not quite. It looked like we were maybe there, but... Not quite. I tried. I tried to cut down a little bit, but... That'll do it for us. We got ourselves a sixth, just outside the top five. And it was a pretty fun race, even though there was a lot of yellows. It was fun when it went green. But uh, with that, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you next time.